Hi, I'm Alan, and this is my wife, Vicki. We are the Skeltons. We have gladly and fortunately been married for about 40 years now, and almost all of that in ministry. On our very first mission trip together was when she was 15. She was on the border of Texas and Mexico, but a mission trip when we had been married for a while was probably um, 1975, 1976. We went to Mexico. Uh, 11 years ago, I started looking for a place because my wife said I want to be a full-time missionary in another country. I went to Nicaragua, couldn't find a place. Went to Costa Rica, couldn't find a place. She found uh, this property located behind the last section of an international living magazine. This place that we have here, we can bring people here to expose them to missions. We just feel like that if a person leaves the comfort of their home and goes to another country, then God will open up their eyes so that they can see the world like He sees the world. And so we just love being a part of that process. And so this was built to um, help with the process of bringing people to the mission field and we plug them in to the different areas of ministry that we're involved in here. We um, teach English and, and computer in the local school um, here in this community two days a week. We teach English in another community one day a week. Um, we visit the nursing home weekly and have services with them. We have Bible club with the local kids here every week and we um, have youth meetings with the local kids here every week. We also have a village that um, Alan has built houses and has built a church and it has made a difference to them um, physically as well. Their health has improved because of being inside and on a cement floor. Then their needs of housing and food and clothes that clothing that we are meeting as well. And so there, the things that we're doing, not only is it fulfilling our dreams, but it is fulfilling their dreams and their needs. My husband's main focus would be pastoral and leadership training. That's his gifting since he pastored for 15 years. And so he really has a heart for um, pastors and leaders. So the people who come here, we are able to use their gifts and talents and plug them in to different areas of ministry. Another phase of it would be the medical teams. My father called a pastor friend of his and said he wanted to bring a medical team to help the ravaged people here. And so somehow or another he asked me to lead it. I led it, got exposed to medical missions, fell in love with it. So we just began Omega Whitefields Medical. And we've been working together for 15 and a half years. We've been at least in 15 countries, a little more than 90 medical teams, seen many thousands of people one to the Lord and many more treated. So I love that ministry. The kind of sicknesses we see are mostly general. Uh, we've got a lot of injuries that come in that we will treat to the best of our ability. Uh, we've had some surgical teams, but it's mostly general medicine, uh, pains, aches, colds, fevers. Um, antibiotics for infections, and those type of things. We have an internship program as well where uh, in the summer we have lots of young people. So like this summer, for instance, we've had 10 young people that have stayed from one to three months with us. So it's been exciting to be in a part of, you know, our ministry being extended through other young people especially. What might make us just a little bit different is the, the base is a little broader. It's, it's spread out over a lot more things. But really, we've just got a call. And uh, we try to help others with their call, and we're a part of their call, hopefully, in some way positive. What is Whitefield's biggest need? Actually, teams like yours, uh, those are the most motivating, encouraging things for Vicki and I when people come and join us to do ministry because when teams aren't here, we continue to do everything that teams are a part of, except for when teams are here, it's, it's an added physical blessing, mental blessing, spiritual blessing. You get to share your gifts, you get to share your talents and abilities with the people. We believe that the Lord has proven Himself to have called us. We do believe firmly that we are called, and uh, that call is growing, that passion to serve our call is growing. 
So we're very responsible with what is given. Hopefully those that come can see where investments have been made. And when you come back, we want you to see other things that have been done. We believe that God, um, He proves Himself through those that He calls. So come on, prove it. We need some more of it. If you dream of missions, then let us become a part of your missions journey. Come and visit us here in Honduras. God bless you.